YouTube, this is my 300 subscriber special and this is Bruno. He's a Maine Coon and I'm going to tell you his story. Okay, so th about around three and a half years ago, my uncle discovered a cat in his trap, which he uses to catch feral cats to be neutered or spayed and then released. But it turned out this was a special cat. He asked my grandmother if she would foster him for two weeks. She fell in love with him and decided to adopt him if he was clean and got along with her other cat named Charlie. So he's a Maine Coon and he found a new home. It, he, ha he has a sad story behind it. Before he got a great home, he's now kind of spoiled. Hey Bruno, isn't he a beautiful boy? If you don't know, Maine Coon are the biggest breed of domestic cat. He weighs about 20 and a half pounds. And I would show you his paw, but he's like sitting on it. Uh, see, kind of has like a thumb. Cause uh, Maine Coons are originated from Maine. And it's kind of sad his background story because um, he was beaten. He was hurt when we found him, but he was beaten by some person and what is happening to the camera oh my god um okay there there better okay better okay he was beaten he how we know this is he does get very skittish and he will attack if he feels threatened because his previous owners must have beaten him a lot and he's severely afraid of hats because his previous owners must have hit it. So if you wear a hat and touch it, he will freak out. So some fun facts about Bruno. He is a really sweet boy. He used to fetch. So if you would throw a mouse, he would catch it and bring it back. Um, in Maine, Maine Coons were originally mouse cats. So they would be on farms and they would catch mouse, mice. So that might have been where he had it for instincts to bring a, a toy mouse back. And they have these this long tail because in Maine, if they were cold, they would wrap it around themselves. Sorry, it's hiding like under the chair. Hey Bruno, wanna take out your tail? There it is. Isn't that big? Okay, so Bruno was caught in a cage and in that cage, he tried to get out because he was very scared. As I said, he had a previous owner who beat him so when he was trying to get out of this cage, he got a scar on his nose. And Maine Coons, they have a menacing look. Let's see if Bruno will show it. Come on Bruno, lift up your head. Well, he won't lift up his head, but his eyes are very menacing because if you see them, you'll believe that he might attack. But it is just most Maine Coons have it. They tried to be breeded out, but he didn't get it breeded out of him. So he still has the menacing eyes. and. Some people say he has Mark of Madonna, but I can't see it. Everybody says he does. See, look at those menacing eyes. But he's actually a very sweet guy. He loves getting attention. He loves getting loved. And he is just an amazing cat. I love Maine Coons. So this is Bruno's story. And he is around six years old. I don't think I've said that yet, but he is. And here he is. He's such a big cat. Okay, yeah, that's about it. Bye, YouTube.